It's a little small, isn't it? Yeah, it's a uh, temporary office. Mm. Mine's been renovated. I see. Mm. Well, it's the old janitor's office. Yeah, so uh, where, where's the janitor now then? Next door. Yeah. So, who's the guy downstairs then? He was under surveillance before all this. For drug offences dealing to the kids and that. Clearly somebody saw a gap in your surveillance. Well, yeah. As I said, we have known this guy for a while. We had a couple of kids lined up to get drugs off him, so we could catch him in the act. Well, looks like someone got him before us. Well, I don't suppose that matters now. Anyway, I suppose you want to know what I think I know. Could help. The guy reads the Book of Revelation. It's in the Bible chapter. Exactly. In the Bible, there's a line. A line referring to the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Well? It gets better. This line states how the horsemen will wreak havoc, if you will, upon the earth. Now, there's a passage from Revelation 6 where Jesus, upon his second coming and the judging of the earth at the apocalypse, opens the seals, releasing horrors upon mankind to destroy the blasphemous and non-Christian, etc. Whilst the God-fearing are sent to the heavens. The Bible seems to have got more interesting since Sunday school. Yes, well, many people aren't aware of how interesting the final pages of the Bible are. Anyway, there's a line referring to how the horsemen will kill those who offend God. They were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine and plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. Oh my. <laughs> yes, the deaths match those in Revelation. This prostitute was bound and poisoned. This thief was bound and starved. And this murderer was bound and eaten by wild dogs. And our drug dealing friend downstairs was bound and stabbed, which equals to kill by a sword. Poison equals plague, starvation equals famine, and the dogs were wild beasts of the earth. Could be a coincidence. Yes, but your only pattern was that there was no pattern, that there was no other link. This is the only link between the murders. This man believes himself to be somehow connected to the horseman, to Jesus, and most likely, this man believes he's doing the work of Satan. But the sign that he left on his victims, the road through the mountains thing. A road, a strange table. Or a horse. Shit, you could be right. I'm beginning to suspect that I may be. Hang on, let me just get this straight. There's a guy on the loose who thinks he can become the devil. No, not exactly. A soldier of the devil. This guy probably knows the right of ascension. Ascension? To ascend. Though one can ascend down, if you get me. To hell? Yes, so a descent. Though we will see it as an ascension to a greater power. Why wouldn't he just kill himself then? To get to hell? Because, like I said, he wants to become a soldier. He wants to be a friend of Satan. He wants to prove himself. Ah, so he wants to be one of those torturing people, I'm guessing then. If you like, yes. But it's how he's proving himself that's the best bit. Go on. Those that commit to becoming, in a sense, a horseman, are in effect opening four seals. Seals? There are five seals. Five to stop hell from melting up onto the earth. If the theories are correct, which is obviously a long shot, but we have to think like our killer. If he opens five seals, then he can let hell wreak havoc upon the world. So what's the fifth seal then? The Lamb. Jesus. He must die. And how's he going to kill Jesus? As far as I'm aware, someone beat him to it. He'll kill a representation of Jesus, a holy man. But then why did he kill just bad people? Sweetens the deal, doesn't it? Satan has more minions for the apocalypse. By the Bible, those people will go to hell. If this guy does want to become a soldier of Satan, he's going to have to start early. Apocalypse? Over my head, this. It's hard to understand as a non-Christian, I know, but... Sorry, sorry, sir. Just... Janitor. Ah. Uh. So we've got a nut job who believes he's the soldier of Satan. Grand. Yes. The thing is, the guy believes it so devoutly that he's clearly capable of doing anything. These people suffered, Chief. They suffered horribly. And I bet he enjoyed it. I'll go do some research to see if there's any more links that could help us. Well, thanks for your help. I, I guess I could get churches to be on the lookout. If anything new turns up, I'll call you. Likewise. Oh, one more thing. If forensics have finished examining the body, I'd like to take the weapon away for research purposes. I've got a friend downtown who specialises in blades. Sure, the prints and pictures are down the hall. 
just make sure you get it back in the next week or so.